A new study says too many Texas students are suspended from classrooms for minor behavior problems. So this morning, the Council of State Government's Justice Center is meeting with education leaders, lawmakers, and police to discuss how to handle the problem. KXAN Sophia Beausoleil is live near the Texas Supreme Court building this morning. Hi, Sophia. Hi, good morning, Brian. Well, the school discipline consensus report basically shows a quote-unquote roadmap on how to curb this issue, and it shows that expelling and suspending students is not necessarily the right way, and so the, all these recommendations give them just a different way of how to change policy. So the Council of State Governments Justice Center launched this project back in 2011. Now, it was a direct response to an earlier study which found about 60% of Texas secondary school kids were suspended or expelled at least once. Now the follow-up study, leaders will take a look at that today and they'll possibly make reforms on it. It's just a discussion that's happening this morning that could lead to change. And researchers did more than 700 interviews in the last three years to gather more than 60 recommendations. And we spoke with Senator John Whitmar, who is a chair of the Senate for the Criminal Justice Committee. And he says suspensions can act as basically a pipeline to the criminal justice system. I chair criminal justice here in the Senate. I deal with adult inmates on a daily basis. I promise you, one of the common denominators among our adult prison population is a bad school experience. A suspension, an expulsion, you get behind, you get profiled, leads to the juvenile justice system, then the adult system. So we have a lot of work to do, but I'm encouraged because we're having this discussion. He went on to say that, of course, if a student violates the law, they should be prosecuted. But when it comes to throwing, quote, erasers, cursing, or being out of their seat, it should not lead to the criminal justice system. So we broke down some of these recommendations. It was hundreds of pages long, so this is just a quick synopsis. But the, the recommendations say, you know, to collect data to identify kids who need help, who constantly get in trouble, and to have a support team in place at every school and within the community. And if a student is removed, they should still get a quality education. And coming up in 30 minutes, we're going to hear from the director behind the study. Um, he was saying, you know, many times these kids go home by either playing video games or often find themselves in other kinds of trouble. So we'll hear specifically what he has to say when it comes to how this impacts graduation. Reporting live from downtown Austin, Sophia Beausoleil, KXN News. All right. Thank you, Sophia. Another